Okay, so in this one, uh, I'm going to continue talking about stealth and camouflage, and hopefully this will be a good example. And uh, we're going to start off with, I'm going to show you how to do something that is very risky, so uh, just watch. Okay, so you're probably wondering how the fuck I didn't get spotted. Um, honestly, I asked that same question when this happened. Um, the light tank that's out there is clearly trying to spot people who are like me and trying to hide in bushes behind rocks and off in the distance to pick off people from across uh, the valley. Um, and what I did was, it was very risky. And it shouldn't be tried unless you know for a fact that maybe you won't get spotted. And that's what was going through my head because I have... This commander fully maxed out on camel perks, and I had the bush right there and the distance as well uh, to help me out. And this, my friends, is why if you are a heavier tank, do not do what this guy did. Or be like this guy and actually take cover. So clearly there's not much foliage on this map uh, to hide behind. I'm going to use, you know, one of the few that are available. But throughout this map, you're going to see a lot of things. Um, and probably the best part about this is that I take a lot of blind shots. And I'll kind of explain as I go. So just before that guy vanished, uh, my, my reticle was lined up at the same spot. So I figured... Hey, I'll check to see if he's still kind of sitting there, and if he sees my shot, maybe he'll back up. So, this is an older map, and I'll tell you right off the bat, it's designed for snipers. If you look at the spots that I'm going to mark out here, these are all just the really good hiding spots. But, at the same time, if you think about it, if you know where the hiding spots are, you should always assume that they know where the hiding spots are. So you might get blind shot. Yeah, and right here is a perfect example of how it's done. Oh, I, and I can't say this any nicer, but if you're getting shot by a tank, you can't see fucking move. So clearly my ass was hanging out from behind the rock, and I thought, hmm, maybe I pissed him off to get smart enough to shoot back. Nope, he just runs away. So after the last time I fired uh, really close to this bush, I didn't get spotted. So I took another risk, and I'm not exactly sure what caused me to get spotted this time. I don't know if it's between uh, the fact that the edge of the bush is, you know, not as thick, or if it's because of the uh, barrel of my cannon. But either way, I took cover. See, now right there, the exclamation point shows up. That means I'm being directly aimed at and spotted. So what I do is I move back and forth until it disappears, and when it does, I know I'm safe. As I said before, don't use your repair kit for your tracks unless you are actually tracked, because you never know when you're going to get them damaged, keep moving, fix them, and then you get shot again just to get tracked and have your uh, repair kit on cooldown, assuming you have the premium ones. Another 
I know not everybody can do it, but it's just as simple as aiming in front of the tank. Not necessarily right in front, but a good ways away from it. You know, just use your own judgment, judge the speed, have your uh, the speed of your ammo in mind, and just practice it. So with that shot, I knew one of two things was going to happen. Either I was going to hit him and correctly guess where he was going and then, you know, spook him and then rinse and repeat. Or he would then go the opposite direction and put himself in the line of fire of the other guys that he was just recently trying to get away from. All right, did you see that? If you blinked, you might have missed it, but pay very close attention to the rest of this. Because this is how you guess where people are. So uh, right here, I change targets kind of back and forth, uh, mainly because when I'm focus firing on one guy, I want him to feel like he's pinned down. And then I'll switch to another guy, give him the same feeling, and then let the other guy think, okay, I'm not being shot at, let's come out of cover. So even though I was uh, scanning the area, um, auto lock just wouldn't seem to latch onto him, but I could have swore I saw the outline there for a split second, so I tried doing this. And if you didn't know, that clicking noise you constantly hear, that's me scanning the general area around my reticle uh, with auto lock, trying to find a possible target that's within my line of sight. And I do it when I'm on move as well, just in case I come, you know, right in that path where I can get a shot in. And for those of you who are always asking, why am I getting shot by invisible tanks? I am the reason. <laughs> okay, so the rest of the battle is actually kind of boring. It's just me trying to chase the heavy tanks that were up in the A1 corner. And as I'm doing that, the other guys that were left on the hill with me pick the rest of the team off. And we end up winning, so... But anyways, if you guys found this useful, uh, just let me know. If you have any suggestions, also let me know. Uh, these are for everybody uh, to learn. And I'm going to continue uh, making more as time goes by. So ideas and suggestions are welcome. <laughs>